Can you tell me, both of you, how you regard morale in the forces at the moment? Well, perhaps because we're up in the air, I'll speak first. Um, Air Force-wise, we've had no problem at all. Um, whatever the situation has been, um, I think between the Army Command and I, uh, we were given the privilege to brief all our troops before the Prime Minister made his speech on the 24th of September. And um, we were able to put over the uh, situation as it had developed with the uh, Anglo-American proposals. Um, and as a result of that, all our chaps were completely in the picture, knew what was coming, and there's been absolutely no shift in morale. It's always been high, uh, and I, I won't speak for the Army, but I'm sure you'd... Uh, Do you confirm uh, that, General? Absolutely. There's never been any drop in morale amongst the troops. When I say troops, I mean security forces generally. Can you tell me what, tell me what morale is like amongst the African troops that you have, Black? Very good. You should just hear these chaps talking about uh, political and other matters. Their morale is very, very good indeed. Recruiting is as uh, good as it's ever been. We get 10 to 15 times the number of people we want for any recruit intake. Would you like to have either of you at the moment that uh, Fidel Castro has said that he would give unconditional backing to Mozambique? <laughs> no, not really at all. In fact, I think if you, if you look at the scene in this part of the world, uh, take into account uh, Mozambique on the one side, uh, okay, the Cubans were in Angola, um, I don't think uh, this sort of situation is going to develop at this particular time. Um, we are quite satisfied that we can handle anything that arises as far as uh, Mozambique or any, anywhere else uh, in this part of the world. Well, you just stressed that